Hello. Hello, Paul. How are you? Hello. Hello, Paul. How are you? Tired. <laughs> Very tired, but we're doing okay. It's been a, a, a huge uh, Brazilian tour that you had in the past months. Yeah. So how are you yeah. feeling with, with that? Are you tired or are you yeah. feeling with more energy? <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm really tired. No, today I've done nothing. We just sat around all day and uh, just sort of uh, getting our shit together, ready for Paraguay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, today's been a free day, just doing nothing. You've been watching TV and falling asleep, and uh, that's it. <laughs> nothing. Trying to, to get some relax after all day. Ah, you can't be relaxing when you're on the road. It's difficult, you know. It's it's really hard. But uh, yeah, we're doing the best we can. I'm just a bit sad because we lost all that crew now. We changed crews and everything, and these guys it's just all coming together and working really well. And uh, they've all gone now, so we've got to start all over again, which is a bit scary. Well, it's a pleasure to be with you this day, and and it's been a, a long time that you you were here in mexico like almost um 10 years um uh, 2015. okay yeah i got i got but i've been really sick so uh, there's not a lot to do about it do you have any memories of of the last tour that you you had uh, here in 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 mexico yeah, oh, well, this is one of my favorite countries to come to, and and we're, to, we toured a lot of times in Mexico with uh, Era, oh. and some friends of ours, and all our friends in trans metal and all that stuff. So yeah, we got millions of fans over there. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I, and I really want to talk ab uh, about this, the, the Era, and the the they were your your band in in that yeah. moment. And you have a, a connection with them, so yeah. uh, almost a couple years we have the loss of Adan Moreno. He's so, yeah. uh, what can you say about him? A, a memory from what else can you say? Uh, we used to we used to mess around. We call him, we used to call him uh, my hero, <laughs> my little son. <laughs> Even though we're both Ramones from that fanatics, and uh, yeah, we used to hang out. I always have a good time together, and we'd go around to um, their their mum and dad's house to eat and stuff. So it's like family, and so it's very very tough. Um, when I got the news, I lost two of my top players in from different bands. I lost my guitar player Paulo in Brazil too from COVID as well. So it's very sad, um, and I lost my father-in-law. So yeah, it's all it's all bad. You know, it's not been a good thing, and uh, I don't know how I'm going to react to this. I'm going to meet Ivan when I get over there. Yeah, um, like... So it's going to be a bit bit tougher, I suppose. But you know, I think it's the best thing to do. And if I've got time, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm going to make time to go to visit, you know, the, the grave and uh, pay my respects to my brother. Yeah, it, it's very hard to find people like him, uh, like uh, as a family, and to to yeah. work with with um, a great man uh, like like he used to be in the music industry. Of course, yeah, and he's, he's, he's going he's going up and down over to Spain and that a lot too to uh, like promoting bands and stuff like that. And but the the two brothers and me are really close. We we you know we played together for years. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a sad time. It's going to be sad. I'm going to be happy to see them, but I'm also, it's going to be sad, you know, to, to bring all this up again. Yeah. yeah. And, well, uh, we were talking about your tour in Brazil. Yeah. So, um, what can we expect from your set list? Uh, it's gonna be different from Brazil and Mexico. Or uh, what can nice, we expect from? It'll be the same. It's a comeback thing. So it's pretty, basically mostly Iron Maiden stuff, uh, just to introduce myself back into music again. Yeah, next year will be different again. It'll be my most of my stuff in there then. But uh, yeah, it's just a uh, it's just a comeback thing. And um, as as I said, it depends on how how good the band are. Because the band in Brazil was absolutely fantastic. At the end of the day, we got it all together. So whoever I'm playing with is gonna they better, you know, they've got some big shoes to fill. <laughs> okay. And I don't, fuck, I don't fuck around, but it comes to messing around with songs of mine, you you will get your ass kicked. <laughs>
What are your favorite songs to play live from from uh, the first two albums of, of Maiden? Uh, Phantom of the Opera, definitely. Remember Tomorrow, um, Sanctuary, Rothschild. They're all good. What? No, no, they're not doing Strange World and stuff like that. And Prodigal Son is not going to say it, none of this stuff. And so, you know, we want to try and keep it as much. I don't know, with more dynamic, so not not to a slow song, yeah, remember tomorrow, but that's got a build up in it. So, you know, now we're talking to no slow stuff at the minute. Yeah, because there is a lot of, of music to, to play like um live. And um what's next uh from you for your, your career uh, after the shows in Mexico? Rehabilitation. I'm gonna get walking again, so that's that's the most important thing. After that, um, we got, um, I have a box set coming out soon and a movie. Uh, plus, uh, we're finishing uh, mixing up the War Horse project, which I've um, already done the vocals for. So uh, that will be out in the year as well. And working on new material. And we decided yesterday to start another new project in Brazil. <laughs> with festivals in Europe. Yeah. yeah, and we got festivals in Europe and that as well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're, but we, uh, me and the two guitar players I've been working with in Brazil, uh, we decided to start another project next year. Uh, so we're writing at the moment. The guys are going to get home and have a rest. We we'll start writing the two of them together with me. Okay. So that's good. How how's your health uh, at at this day? How are you feeling about your health? Because we know that you had uh, some some issues uh, the past years, so. It's hard well, it's called, to, to do. It's actually called sepsis. It's called sepsis, and it's a killer. Um, it almost killed me twice. So uh, yeah, um, it's not like a, a small disease. It's absolutely terrible. Uh, it's eaten a lot of my tissue away in my shoulder and in my uh, certain parts of my body and leg and that. And um, it's not been easy, but uh, it's all right. Uh, apart from the not walking thing, that's the only thing that's getting me. But uh, my health's all right at the moment. Blood pressure's good. Everything's good. Um, just not working out enough. Not getting to the gym enough because of traveling. We can say that Iron Maiden is it's a, a band who who were one of the first bands that every metalhead uh, heard for the first time, like um, in his life. So, how do you feel about um, the 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 introduction of you in his life as a metalhead. That's good. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, I mean, what more could you want? Um, you know, you that, that looks even some of the bands, the bigger bands like Metallica, Sepultura, Pantera, they they all we influenced all of them, you know, and we and a lot of kids, you know, it's, it's, we just I don't know, it's hard to explain, but we just did it. Um It's been fantastic to know that you've made such a difference in people's lives. You know, we had one guy last night was crying in the dressing room listening when he came back to say some autograph and that, and he broke down and cried. And he's like 36 years old or 40 years old, and he cried like a little baby. Yeah. And, that, oh, and, and, then that, and that almost made me start crying. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It was really good. I'm glad that we give people so so much emotion it's great because yeah. we put the emotion in so they get the same back so it's good yeah. yeah it's it's a connection with the bands because as, as you said before uh these bands like metallica sepultura are a, a huge part of every one of us and as a metalheads and we are uh, growing with with that uh that music and it's by generations so I think yeah. that's that is great that you you still here and, and, and keep on uh I wonder, this song. I wonder a couple of years older than most of these people as yeah. well. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Um yeah. no, I'm quite a good friend with James and that, uh Hetfield and that. So, uh, yeah, but it's good. It's good to know. Um you know that we influence them and then you know it's You know, the Iron Maiden albums is one of James's favorites of all time. So, yeah, it's good to know. Um, you know, but, yeah, I, just, I, just, I just want to play music. I don't care about nothing else. <laughs> well, thank you, Paul, for, for your time and for, for telling us something about your story and 
and the things that, that you are working um, on this time. So we're coming back to world domination again. <laughs> There, there's something that you can uh, say uh, for your Mexican fans, for the people that are waiting for your yeah. show. I'd like to say it's so good to be coming back, that's for sure, after eight years away of not playing. Um, and I'm coming to one of my favorite countries in the whole world because I absolutely adore Mexican food. It's my favorite what's your, Yeah, what's your favorite part from Mexico? The food? Or yeah, and the school up. <laughs> well, of course. And, and the chicas. <laughs> That's all good. I, I've, had, I've had a long time relationship with this country. I've toured most of uh, most of there, as I have in Brazil. So yeah, it has been pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be good to come back and see everybody again, old friends, and make new friends. It'll be awesome. Yeah, because uh, the people, it's it's uh, the crowd. It's very different from from another countries. Uh, we are very passionate and in, in that stuff. So. Uh. Uh, you try telling you try telling Brazil, Argentina, and Chile that. <laughs> no, Bra Brazil is bigger than Mexico in that part, but <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> we are almost um, the same as as white. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chile, Chile's got to be absolutely terrifying. They're absolutely crazy over there. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be good. It's, look, it's doing me good just to get out and seeing everybody. So it's 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 healing me, which is a good thing. It's hitting my inside of my soul, which is what I need to work on as well, because that got a little bit fucked up as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thank you so much for your time. And, and we can wait to see you next week, because the, the next week it, it's going to start this, this tour in Mexico. So um, we are waiting for you. And uh, all the best for, for you and your future plans. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon. See you. Ciao.